it's Lisa from Girl in Garage. Thanks for joining me today. So today I am doing a little vase and I've decided to put this seed glass in it. I bought a pack oh, ages ago and I thought I'd uh, try something different. Um, I've already started so basically I'm just stacking all bits of the glass in here just randomly. So I sort of want that sort of mosaic effect. So I'll keep going with that. Is my dog barking? So what I might do, I might mix up my resin. And just add that before I put too much in, just so it gets right down the bottom. And that might be a go. Okay, I'm back. I've just mixed up my resin. It's a deep pour. And I decided I'm just going to put some of this diamond dust in, which you don't need very much. It goes a very long way. So I just wanted a bit of sparkle and just in case I get any bubbles. Oops, and I'll just put it everywhere. Hopefully you can see that. If you add too much, it'll just overpower everything. So you only need the slightest little bit with your stumps. It's awesome, I love it. Before I get diamond dust everywhere. Not sure why that is going all out of shape. All right, hopefully, I've got you back in frame. spray that was just isopropyl alcohol I use 100% and I've just dropped something in my resin which always happens doesn't it
bubbles down there, but that should they should disperse. It's looking pretty good. Left to be a little bit gently when you're doing it so you don't cut your mold just in case any of the pieces are sharp. They shouldn't be. I'm not sure if this is proper um, sea glass, but you can actually do it yourself if you have a rough tumbler. Um, I've got various pieces, but not enough to do a project like this. I've been collecting a lot of the beach here locally. Most of mine brown, <laughs> typical beer bottles, <laughs> plenty of them everywhere, you always find them everywhere in the bush, people just, don't know what's wrong with them, just leave them laying around everywhere. Take your beer bottles with your peoples. I really hate those little bugs. sure we don't push it out of shape too. Just pop you on a fast forward while we get the rest of this filled up.
smash those other bits up, like. So, it's a complete fail. I've discovered that I packed the glass too hard into it and I thought it was a little bit off centre and when I've turned it over, you can see it's bulging. So, uh, this one's going to be a fail because I put too much glass in it. The other thing I discovered was I bought this sea glass online ages ago and it was came in a bag with blue, green and white glass. Anyway, I picked a bit of the green glass out of here when the resin was still wet and the all the green dye came off the piece of glass. So it's obviously been dyed and it's not proper sea glass. And um, it would be interesting to see if all the green has run through this. Anyway, let's just get into it and um, see what we've got. Just spray a bit of alcohol just to make it a bit easier. Hang on, I'm just going to pop you on, pause, and just loosen this a bit. It's coming. Maybe I've stuck a bit of the sharp glass through the mould because she doesn't want to come out. Oh, that's got it. Other thing, don't buy cheap crappy moulds because this is what happens. They get out of shape. Well, The green dye has ran. Yeah, I can see it there. I think, oh, is that a piece of glass? No, it looks like, oh, I don't know if you can see that, but it does look like the um, dye has ran. Hmm, bugger. Oh, well, I'll just have to... um get some more and, and do another project so there you go a fail it's still pretty but um oh i guess once you if you put some flowers in you, you probably wouldn't notice so i suppose it's all right anyway let me know what you think in the comments all right well that's it for today thanks so much for watching please like share and subscribe um, and I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.